Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so as you can see, I have a bare face. <laughs> um, so I thought we could test out some new makeup. It's new to me. It might not be complete me completely new to you guys. Um, but it is new to me and then I figured we can do like Valentine's Day inspired eye look too. Um, so I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Ooh, it has like a silky texture to it. Okay, I've never used a primer like this so we'll see so I'm gonna just apply it to like my pore area Have you guys ever had white coffee? Mmm, it is so good. I've never had white coffee. It is so good. Okay, so I got that primer on my skin. It feels very silky. Um, and it's dried down pretty good. I always start with my eyes, so I do my makeup, my makeup, <laughs> my makeup in a weird way. Um, I, I like do my primer because you want to let your primer sit for three to five minutes for it to really do its job, like shrink in your pores, um, fill in your fine lines and wrinkles. And, um, so you don't really want to go in right away with your foundation. Um, after you put your primer on, you want to let it sit. So that's why I always do my eyes first. And if I have any fallout, it's easier to clean it up. But that's just me. Okay, so I'm going to, I'll just use this concealer. All the companies are like doing these big sponges <laughs> on their concealer. It's kind of nice. So I'm just going to go in with some concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend um, Undercover Concealer, and I have it in Fair Porcelain. And I okay, so I'm just gonna go in with the powder. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder, and it's in Translucent Peach Whisper. Oh. Um, you can see I haven't used it like at all. <laughs> Still has the little strip thingy. Mmm. Ooh, that definitely does smell like peaches. Ooh, that smells good. If you're sensitive to smells, that one might bother you. Okay, so I'm just gonna take what is this? Morphe E22 and just set my concealer. I always set either my concealer or eye primer. Um, I, this is probably gonna be like a chatty, uh, trying out new makeup type video <laughs> as well. Um, I always set my eye primer or my concealer because I feel like it helps blend the shadows better. In my opinion, I've always done that. You don't have to, but I always like to. Oh, I'm out of breath, you guys. I'm still pregnant. I'm 37 weeks um, and a couple days. So, 
and I when I had my last doctor's appointment I was one and a half centimeters dilated so my husband thinks she's gonna come on um, his birthday which is in a couple days his birthday's on the 13th so we will see but if I, that if I'm out of breath and that kind of stuff it's just because I'm <laughs> pregnant <laughs> very pregnant okay so I set the eye primer so now <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm deciding if I want to do my brows first or my eyes first I don't know let's do our bra no let's do our eyes <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Artisty Archery palette um, in Painted Desert so it's this we're gonna go in with this color first um, as like our transition color. So I'm gonna take, this is the Sony Kashuk Tapered Blending Brush. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna take my switch it's like a color switch just to make sure that all these colors are off. So I'm going to go in with that color. It doesn't have a name at all. So I'm just going to go in and put it in my uh, transition color and above because I do have the hooded eyes. So I'm going to take my eyeshadow above. So what I like to do is I put the mirror in front of me and I'm tilting my chin up but I'm looking down at my mirror so I can see my whole lid space. Um, if you go like this and you try to go in with the shadow, you can't really, if you have hooded eyes, you can't really see your whole lid space. But if you do the trick like I do, you can see your whole lid space and it you can work with it better. So, I always start on the outer corner and I do circular motions and then I'm going to blend up where you place your brush at first is going to lay the product there um, more pigmented. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with, first let me clean it off, or the more, the Orf, the Orphe, <laughs> the Morphe M441. I'm just gonna take this and just blend it and make sure there's, excuse me, okay. Just make sure there's no harsh lines. Okay. So like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take, this is like, oh, I'm sweaty. <laughs> this is a perfusion. Um, it came with one of my perfusion palettes. So I'm going to take this color now and we're gonna put it in our crease. Like that can you guys see that's pretty well, this brush is really soft I haven't used it yet so I'm just going to build this color up in my crease and then I'm taking it slightly above because again I do have the hooded eyes so I want you to be able to see it okay so we got that in that's so pretty so now I'm gonna go back with the Morphe M4 one and just again blending it making sure it's soft I'm just gonna go back with this brush which was the profusion brush and I'm gonna go back with the color um, that we just put in our crease and just work it on the outer corner right here okay oh look how pretty that is that is so pretty okay <clears throat> there's like no fallout either that is crazy so now i'm gonna go in with the color pop it's my pleasure palette and i think i'm gonna go in with this 
earth shine right here color and put it all over my lid. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna use my finger. I feel like ColourPop can do no wrong either. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, 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 that's so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. It's like purple, but it has like some pink in it. Look at that. It's like duochrome. Oh, that is so pretty. Um, do I want to? I'm thinking about maybe taking this color next to it, which is called Bare Minimum putting it on like the outer corner. Let's just do it. I'm gonna take my, oh, my finger again. Oh my God. And just put it like right here. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty. Mm. And of course I'm going to blend. Don't you worry. Okay, so I'm just going to go back with this. No color. I'm not adding any color. Uh, I'm just blending them all together just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Mm-hmm. Very Valentine's day -y. Oh, that's pretty. I'm debating if I want to add um, liner. Yes. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I got my liner on. Um, <clears throat> that took forever, but for you guys, it was like a flash. I got that on. I used the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pin. A black, you guys. This is such a good liner. Mm. If you have trouble doing a wing, um, I always do. <laughs> it's really easy to get your wings. Um, <clears throat> doesn't drag, doesn't snag. Um, it lasts all day, on me at least. Um, it's great. I'm continuing sweating, but it's fine. Let's move on. Okay, so let's do the face. Okay, so we got a primer on. So I'm going to try the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And I don't know if it's my shade. It's an F1, so we will see. So I'm just gonna put my hair back. <clears throat> so it comes with a little a little sponge very nice it's easy to apply your foundation okay so I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge Seems to be a good color. So I'm just bouncing it onto my skin. You take it down my neck as well. I'm just gonna blend it into my skin. So far, it's looking good. I would say it's a medium to full coverage um, because it didn't cover like all of my redness. Um, 
This isn't going to be like a wear test or anything either. Um, I'm just trying out the products with you guys. And just getting ready with you guys. It's a little flat than I like. I like it, my um, foundations to be like a little more luminous and like skin-like. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm noticing. But that's just my preference in <clears throat> foundations. I like this applicator though. It's really easy to apply. So it's looking good so far. It's not caking around my nose, which I do get dryness like around here. It's not doing that. So far at least. <laughs> Let's look at it. Okay, yeah, so, so far it's not settling into like my lines right here. Um, it's not looking cakey. But sometimes, like I said, yeah, with foundations, they can look really cakey around my nose. It's not doing that. Blent it out really good. <clears throat> coverage is pretty good, actually. I mean, it's enough coverage that I need. Um, it didn't cover up like my red, all of my redness right here, but I also don't put foundation like under my eyes because I go on with concealer anyways like from here down so that's probably why but other than that I cover it up all my hyper pigmentation that I can see um it's pretty good okay so I'm going to go in with the covergirl true blend undercover concealer in fair porcelain same one that we use to prime our eyes I'm just gonna do that because it looks like it's like really <clears throat> uh, full coverage so I'm going to apply it in an upside down triangle okay that's pretty good coverage Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so far it's not looking creepy under my eyes at all, so that is good. And it covered up my dark circles really good. And it brightened my face. Okay. So, so far I like this and the foundation. Okay. Um, so now we're going to set everything and I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect. Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my sponge and set under my eyes with it, with the powder. Ooh, yeah, mm. I just tasted that. <laughs> oh, that tastes straight up like peach. Okay, if you guys are really sensitive to scents, you are not gonna like this because it tastes like peach because I inhaled some. Um, and <clears throat> smells like peach. So if you guys are really sensitive to scents, you're not gonna Ooh, that. Okay, good. It's not creeping under my eyes. It's like 
really smooth, I feel. That's good. Same thing for this side. That looks really nice. It's not creeping under my eyes. You know how some setting powders, if, if you put it and set it, your under eyes with it, um, it can start looking cakey, creepy. This one doesn't. It's very smooth. <clears throat> so I like that. So I'm just going to set um, Actually, I don't feel like I need to set this foundation, so we'll see how it plays without setting it. Because it's already full coverage. It doesn't feel tacky, so we'll see. But I did set my under eyes, of course. Oh, and I'm going to set um, my T-zone because I do get oily there. Oily there. Yeah, okay. So, so far, I'm liking everything. So that, okay, so I'm going to do my brows. So this is the Makeup Geek Medium Brow Pencil and Brown and Medium Brown. Ooh, let me wipe off my lips. That's probably bothering you guys. It's bothering me. That's better. Okay. So again, Makeup Geek Eyebrow Pencil. medium brown. I'm not the best at brows, so do not judge. <laughs> oh, this is extremely pigmented. Holy bananas. Oh, that's pigmented. <laughs> Like have to do any barely any pressure. I've never have you guys ever used makeup geek stuff? Cause wow, that's super pigmented. I don't know if it's a good color for my hair. I'm just gonna take this and blend it out. Okay. I feel like I should have done my brows first because then I could. I don't really like it boxy like that. Then I could um, clean them up. Oh. It's okay. But you guys, this is super pigmented. Yeah, if you get this pencil, go in with the light hand. This is super pigmented. I did not expect that at all. Cannoli. I think it might be a little too warm for my hair. That's, that's my fault. I am not liking the boxed look. Okay, that's okay. Whatever. Just don't mind the brows. But you guys, this is super pigmented. I did not expect that. So, wow. I'm impressed. Okay. So now, we're going to go on with another Makeup Geek product. And it's her bronzer in Sunkissed. Fair Skin Bronzer. Look at the packaging. 
Look how pretty that is. I think this is older packaging. So this is the color. It looks perfect for us fair skinned gals. So let me just clean off my brush. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and this is on a crown brush. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the light hand at first because obviously <laughs> her products are pigmented. So Ooh, that's a nice color. I go in with a little bit more of a heavy hand. That is so pretty. This is like perfect for us fair skinned gals. Like, this is the perfect shade of bronzer, you guys. Because it's not too orange, but it's not too cool. Wow, okay. Okay, makeup geek, I see you. Look at that. That shade is so pretty, you guys. So if you have a hard time finding bronzers, um, because if you're fair skin and they just look too orange on you or orange, try the Makeup Geek one in fair skin bronzer because this is so pretty. Or just, yes. was an attractive face wasn't it this is perfect for us fair skin gals you guys perfect you need this bronzer I'm sold good job makeup geek mm. got to have my coffee okay my brows are really irritating me <laughs> But I'm no makeup artist, <laughs> like at all. Not even close, so whatever. <clears throat> okay, so let's finish these eyes. So I'm just gonna take the colors that I used in the beginning. Okay, so I'm just cleaning off my brush. This is the e.l.f. brush in their old, old packaging. Um. I'm gonna use that and then I'm just gonna go in with the first transition shade that we use maybe Let's try it. and then I'm going to get it really close to the lashes Okay, that's pretty. Let me clean this one up. This is this a Sony Kashuk Detail Blending. And I think I'm going to take this one and put that under there as well. Probably should have started with that one and then blended it out with the transition, but that's okay. That's okay. So I'm just taking like the tip of the brush, like this, and I'm just blending and softening this line. Okay, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, so let's finish. Um, the face. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. infused bronzer. It doesn't have a name. Oh, always rosy. 
that is the tiniest my camera is probably not focusing the tiniest writing I've ever seen <laughs> that is so tiny and I think this will match our eye color to mob I've heard these are really really great so I'm gonna take the Lexi 66 preci preci precision why can't I say that foundation brush but I'm not using it for foundation I don't know why you would use this as foundation brush but to each their own so I'm just going to apply it ooh that has a really pretty subtle glow My foot's going to sleep. It has a really pretty, I don't know if you guys or if the camera's picking it up, but that has a really pretty, like, glow. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. So, so far, I'm loving everything. I'm sweating up a storm, though. The top. <laughs> okay. So so far I'm loving everything. So now I'm gonna go on with Becca highlighter and moonstone. I've tried these before, they're gorgeous. Um, but it's just a mini. But you guys, they're really pretty. And then I'm gonna go on with the e.l.f. blush brush. Oh, are so pretty they don't emphasize emphasize texture to your skin they just give you like a beautiful glow within like do you see that oh how pretty no that's so pretty it just gives you a beautiful glow. <laughs> now I need to put on some mascara and then we're almost done. I know it's not long for you guys, but my goodness, this is going to take forever to edit. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. Um, I got this in a boxy charm. I'm just going to wipe off the tip. Wiping off the tip because that helps it not to get on your um, lid. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? It like gives length and then it gives the volume. So pretty. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry real quick. And while I'm letting that dry, let's just do lips. So I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bossy. Like look how pretty that is. Normally, I wouldn't pair this with this like intense of an eye um but since it's like valentine's day i think it goes like perfect look how pretty that mascara is mm. i love it okay, all, all we need to do is clean this up a little and set our face and then we are done foundation still looks very good and so does the concealer and the powder okay <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with the Milani make it dupe my brows I can't <laughs> um, Milani make it dewy setting spray let me take off this 
A little roomy. Okay. So I'm just gonna spray my voice. I spray a lot. I like drowning myself in that. Ugh, don't eat it. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is the completed look. I just wanted to test new makeup and just get ready and chat with you guys and do kind of like a Valentine's Day look. Um, mostly this was just like a testing new makeup and chit chat, get ready with me and my brows I cannot take seriously right now. <sighs> um. <clears throat> But all the products that I used, I really, really loved so far. Um, I will keep you guys updated on the foundation and the concealer and the powder and that kind of stuff. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, <clears throat> that would be, mean the world to me. And what do you guys want to see? Um... Do you guys want to see more makeup tutorials or testing other makeup? What do you want to see? Let me know because I, I have some ideas, but then I also want to know what you guys want to see. I hope you guys are having a good day and remember that you are amazing. You are irreplaceable and this world would not be such a good place without you.